Though the creation and the fall were critical elements in God's plan for his children, something more was needed. In order to fulfill his purposes, a way had to be prepared to redeem all mankind from the grasp of sin and death. That way was through the atonement of God's only begotten Son. After Adam and Eve were driven from the Garden of Eden, they began to till the earth and have children. For many days Adam and Eve toiled, not knowing where they stood with God. They had been cast out of His presence and knew not but what they were lost. And the Lord gave unto them commandments that they should offer the firstlings of their flocks for an offering unto the Lord. After many days an angel of the Lord appeared unto Adam, saying, Why dost thou offer sacrifices unto the Lord? And Adam said, I know not, save the Lord commanded me. And then the angel spake, saying, This thing is a similitude of the sacrifice of the only begotten of the Father, which is full of grace and truth, that as thou hast fallen, Thou mayest be redeemed, and all mankind, even as many as will. Adam and Eve must have had two frightening questions in their minds before the angel came. They were going to die. Would they ever live again? And they had been cast out from God's presence. Would they ever be allowed to return? At some point in life, every one of us will face the same question. We will see someone we love lowered into the grave and wonder if we will ever see them again. Or we will know someone, perhaps even ourselves, who has cut himself off from God's presence and wonder if there is any way back. God set in place a plan that answers both of those questions with a resounding yes. We can overcome death. We can return to be with Him. And more importantly, we can return and become like Him. All of this was made possible through the sacrifice of the only begotten Son, 